Hey guys, uh, this is a quick video response to Girl Writes What and her latest video on atheism, You Asked For It. Um, another great video, uh, really enjoy Girl Writes What videos, all of them. Um, if you haven't seen them, I, I recommend going there and watching them all. I don't think there's a single video that isn't top notch. Um, anyway, I just had a quick response uh, on a couple of points. You mentioned that uh, the argument about patriarchy being used as an answer for A and the antithesis of A uh, was a fallacy, uh, you know, over-representation, under-representation. Um, I've always uh, thought the typical feminist uh, patriarchy response uh, as more of a conversation stopper. Uh, something like patriarchy theory, which is so all-encompassing that it's basically, I mean, that's basically feminism. Uh, it can't be used as a single word response. For a theory to work, it has to be falsifiable. In other words, there has to be an outcome or event, at least in theory, that could prove the entire theory wrong. One single observation or verifiable fact that could destroy the entire theory and force them to start from scratch. This is where patriarchy theory falls flat on its face. Uh, well, one of the ways it does. Um, Literally every single thing that happens, relating even slightly to gender, uh, can be framed in the idea of patriarchy theory. Uh, women don't do dangerous jobs because of patriarchy. Uh, if they did do dangerous jobs, it would be patriarchy. Uh, Overrepresentation and underrepresentation, as you discussed, uh, that's patriarchy. Uh, movies that show men rescuing women, that's patriarchy. Uh, women in movies being pretty. That's patriarchy. Uh, the problem is not that the theory can't explain two opposing outcomes. It's that it's literally all-encompassing. There is nothing that happens or could ever happen that would invalidate the theory. Uh, the theory's bad. Um, you mentioned men are less afraid of violence than women. Uh, well, I agree with uh, all the things you mentioned about increasing awareness, decreasing irrational female fear, uh, all these things. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I buy the premise. I don't think women are more afraid of violence than men, or at least I don't think it's the only explanation. I think men are equally afraid, but their values are different. The highest priority for men in, ge in a general sense is to, quote, be a man. Uh, this means that being viewed as a strong, courageous man by females, uh, even the ones we don't know, is even more important than a man's personal safety. Uh, this is where honor comes from and why MRAs typically say that honor is a primarily male trait. Uh, female safety and comfort, on the other hand, is the number one priority for women uh, and also the number one priority for men, generally, um, which you've mentioned several times before, of course. Uh, men aren't supposed to show fear or complain about it or even tell people that they're scared. Uh, it's viewed as weakness. Uh, women are encouraged to do that, uh, in fact. So, in short, I believe fear is felt equally in both men and women. Uh, in fact, I'd even say it's probably felt more in men simply because uh, men are going to typically be involved in many more fight-or-flight situations in their lives. Um, so, yeah. Uh, you Also, you mentioned that uh, atheists have invited feminism uh, because we've used appeals to emotion. Um, the example you used was the argument describing uh, the harms to society that have been inflicted by theism, uh, the wars, the death, the oppression, etc. Uh, I think it's important to make a distinction between the argument and the rebuttal. Uh, I would say virtually every time I hear this argument from, uh, from an experienced atheist anyway, uh, you know, somebody who's used to debating a lot, um, almost every time I hear it, uh, it's in response to the moral argument from, the from theists. Uh, theists argue that atheists can't have moral values because moral values come from God. Uh, alternatively, they argue that even atheists have moral values because of God, um, whether or not we believe him. Unfortunately, using these types of arguments about the damage and immorality uh, of theists in the name of their gods is the best rebuttal there is, and I think it's valid. Um, and uh, finally, 
Um, I have to say I've become a little more optimistic over the last couple of weeks uh, since the name Atheism Plus uh, was introduced. Uh, every single prominent atheist that I respect, personally, has either come out strongly against it or said nothing, um, except for two. Uh, obviously, I had a lot of respect for Matt Dillahunty and Christina Rad, um, but they've both shown themselves to be uh, ideologues. Uh, all the rest have denounced it or kept silent. While I agree with you that the atheist community will never be the same, it just won't, especially uh, conventions. Conventions are probably ruined forever. Um, I still think Atheism Plus will be a fringe group in short order. Uh, on the bright side, it's certainly weeded out the uh, ideologues. I even think the people who are on the fence are starting to jump ship. Uh, if you want an example, see the controversy over the A plus scribe thing. Uh, that recently went down, I think, yesterday. Um, anyway, uh, I just wanted to say those few things. Great video as always. Thanks. I really enjoy watching them. And uh, now for something completely different. In virtually every marker of health, well-being, and happiness, women have been either even Stephen or... The winning. I win here and I win there. Now what?